work-based learning, that is learning through carrying out and reflecting on tasks at work, is in focus across Europe as governments try to ease youth unemployment. On 19th September 2013, the ETF hosted the International Expert Panel on Work-Based Learning. The meeting gathered specialists from international organizations in 18 countries. Can partner countries learn from the EU how to profit from work-based learning? Answers ETF expert Helmut Zelt. A lot they can learn from us and also we can learn a lot from them. And the main purpose why we are bringing together here experts from partner countries and international experts is to discuss a draft handbook that we have developed from ETF for social partners and policy makers in partner countries, helping them to develop further and to improve work-based learning approaches in VET. Richard Sweet helped the ETF write the handbook for the partner countries. The handbook tries to provide a practical tool for policymakers and the social partners, written in plain English, that shows them what some of the choices are that face them and what some of the options and solutions might be if they're trying to either introduce work-based learning programs or improve the programs and expand the programs that they already have. Dana Bachmann from the European Commission explains the EU's interest in work-based learning. Work-based learning was always at the core of the VET policy, but now there is a new momentum that we need to capitalize. And there are a few reasons. Uh, the most evident one is the youth unemployment. Countries that have strong work-based learning systems, which are embedded into the formal education, have lower youth unemployment rate. Work-based learning uh, provides a um, good stepping stone into life and to work to learners themselves and um, regulates the labor market in a way that employers themselves they are much more engaged into the training provision making sure that they get the right skills that they need to get the uh, job done.